All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here, and welcome back to the tutorial. So in this part, we'll be focusing primarily on the camera setup uh, for our scene. Now, typically what you want to do, I'm using V-Ray here, you can use whatever you'd like, is you go to V-Ray, and there should be a V-Ray physical cam right here. I don't know why mine isn't showing up. So just for the sake of doing this thing, I'm going to go to File, Import, Merge. I'm going to click on uh, one of my old scenes here. Um, let's see, we want to go to, actually, probably right back where we were, uh, ornaments, okay? And then I'm just gonna bring in my V-Ray camera. Now, again, you don't have to worry about that. It should appear for you. So what we need to do is just sort of grab our camera here and position it into what we think is a good uh, sort of angle. All right, so let's just deselect some of this junk here. Basically, we're looking for uh, the target of wherever the heck it is. So what we can actually do is probably, let's see, go up to here and just do V-Ray camera target. That'll select it instantly. And let's just position it. Okay, there we go. Maybe grab this and let's make sure that our Thing goes all the way there and maybe even grab these press R and scale them out just a bit just so we can get a bit more room here for the camera okay and let's see that looks about right you can just drag this over something like this okay perfect so now we've got that settled let's um Let's sort of position our ornaments the way we want them. So let's do this. You can kind of sink them in. Again, you're not going to really be able to tell, uh, you know, where the ornaments are. Watch out uh, that you make sure you grab all these. So what we're going to do is just go to group. We're going to group these just so we can select them easier. All right, so trying to find some natural folds and just uh, put the ornaments in the folds. Okay and Again, make sure you're sort of looking at the camera when you're doing this so you can watch it. Let's drag it up, another one in and let's put it you know, sort of over here. Okay, there we go. And we'll put one more. Um, let's do it over here. All right, perfect. Uh, now I want to bring my camera maybe even a little more back perhaps give it a bit higher uh, kind of looking down on them just like this okay perfect so now that we've positioned the scene um, we can let's see let's make sure your rendering is set up so go to your render setup <clears throat> and make sure you're on V-Ray or mental ray whichever you know you want to use um, I'm gonna go to output size and put this as HDTV this gives you your 1920 by 1080 and you know 1280 by 720. We're just gonna do 480 by 270 here. Go to V-Ray. We want to go to the adaptive renderer just so we don't constantly keep rendering. Okay. Um, for the color mapping, we want to use exponential so we don't get any big highlights. In the global illumination, we do want that. We want to use a radiance map and light cache. High is fine for now, and light cache will leave it at a thousand. And that should be good for those settings. All right, so um, I believe that is all we need for the scene setup here. So we're gonna quickly add a couple V-Ray lights here. So just go to V-Ray light, and we're gonna add some sort of little, little rectangle shapes, very long and thin. Okay, perfect, just like this. And then let's just make sure where they are. And then let's add another one sort of kind of on the other side over here. Okay. Uh, now what we want to do is just do a couple sample renders. So we put it at a very small size, I believe. Let's double check. So in the common, we get 40 by, by 270. Let's go to our, our V-Ray cam, Shift F to show our safe frames. And let's give it a quick render. You can press F9 or this render production button up here. So it'll do a bit of calculation, then here's your render. So we're a bit dull, so we're gonna um, simply increase our lights here. So we're at 30. Let's go to around 90. 
uh, give this light about 90 as well and change this to temperature and change this to about 4500 actually 4000 should work just to give us a nice warm color okay and let's re-render again all right so here we are we're getting a little bit better results but let's uh, change an additional setting here on the camera uh, we want to change the f number to, to four um, that'll give us just a little bit lighter image here so i just re-rendered it i did a couple uh, tests to make sure we were kind of doing the right thing okay uh, now what we want to do that we have this is simply go in here um, select our light bulbs and let's just rotate them just to give it a bit of visual interest okay so you can rotate them and reposition them. All right, let's rotate this one sort of, you know, to the side, maybe a bit to the back. Okay, and just position it. Again, you can keep your camera, you can um, change it to shaded so you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, making sure that you're still sort of where you want to be. Okay, and this one we can maybe rotate a bit this way, maybe something like that. All right, looking pretty good. All right, and then change a little bit just so it overlaps in the camera here, just to give it a bit of um, you know sort of coolness to it. All right, so that'll be the end of the scene setup part. Next time uh, we'll carry on with. Um, some materials. So I will see you in the next part.